Uh, yeah, the Mumbai Art Fair uh, and India Art Festival, both our uh, premier art fair bands, started almost 12 years back. And the basic purpose was to you know give the platform to the urban and rural artists together. Because what happens in the metro cities like Mumbai, Delhi, and Bangalore, uh, artists hardly get the platform to display the art. Here we have the Jangir Art Gallery. Suppose they want to participate, you know, take us a gallery there. If they apply today, it takes five years. There is a waiting list of five years. So this is happening in almost all the galleries. So 12 years back, 13 years back, we thought that there should be some platform. Uh, along with uh, Dr. Sarai Doshi and Prafula Dhanukar, both the senior people in the art field uh, in Mumbai. So this this started with the basic principle to sort of democratize art and give them platform along with the urban artists, bring them together and invite all the art lovers, art buyers, uh, you know, architects, interior designers to buy art also. So this serves dual purpose. Once they get the platform, second thing, uh, the people in Bombay, uh, you know, art loving people, enthusiasts who need to have some kind of, you know, aesthetic ambience around their living places, they get very good artworks here. You know, and choices are wide. Almost if you see yearly editions in Mumbai, Delhi and Bangalore, more than 1,000 artists we display, more than 10,000 artworks are displayed in different mediums, different styles, different subjects. Hardly you name the style, name the subject and uh, uh, name the medium. Right. It is there. So this is growing. It started with a single edition, uh, you know, in 2010 in Mumbai. Then it went to Delhi and then Bangalore, and it is growing. Maybe in a couple of years, we'll start the edition in Hyderabad. So this is spreading. This is sort of movement by the artist for the artist. That we can call it. And uh, this has generated such a huge, huge uh, kind of awareness among the common people because you know, other art forms will be like movie. It's very uh, popular art form. Music is a popular art form and we have so many, even if you take that literature, there are so many libraries. But this art form, visual art, don't have that much platforms, we could not only have generated. And this is the, what we started 12 years back has now you know, grown into a huge movement. So our purpose is served at both levels, getting the platform for the artists and providing the aesthetic product to the people who love art. You are a photographer yourself, you are a singer, you are an artist, you are an actor. How does it feel being among such artists here? Unfortunately, I am not a painter. I would love to have been a painter. But you said, first of all, I, I think it's very important that you said something about democratizing art. And uh, you know, I am not the kind of person to say, you know, give this gentleman a big hand. But I think we should give him a big hand for doing this. I, I think it's so important that uh, young, young filmmakers, they have film festivals, they have short film festivals, as OTT to Kitnet, the, the directors and writers ka mokha mil ga, apne kaam display karne ga. Uh, music also has so many, so many platforms. Art does not. So you see it's popular, popular form of art is cinema, popular form of art is music. But I think we should make art in India popular popular for the public it's not just meant to be for the elite to be put in their homes because art can influence cultures art can inspire people it can influence movements it can it can move you and i think unless and until we give young and i know here i just saw as in the a 10 year old artist yeah and there is an 80 year old artist and i say this is india coming together and it's so important that we give everybody a chance, a voice, and an opportunity. Because the worst thing in the world is to be unappreciated as an artist. It is the most frustrating in the world, thing in the world. And the very fact that they can put up their painting and say, please come to my store, this is my work. They feel so proud that their, their work is shown. There's some, there some wonderful work inside over there. And it should be encouraged year after year. And for that, I congratulate you, Rajendraji. There is no other way to appreciate it but to say thank you for putting this together. Because I am a great believer in giving everybody a platform, giving everybody a voice. And also, if people make money out of it, even better. Youngsters will take it up as a profession because who knows? Nobody can say, money when I grow up, I'll be an artist. Then you have to engineer them. Nobody will encourage you. You know why? Because, because as, 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 a, 
as a uh, as a vocation, it's not really encouraged. But movements like this will encourage parents to say, go and be, uh, become a Prada, a Suza, or a, 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 a Raza Saab. Uh, there's so many great Indian artists, Suva Prasanna Saab, uh, Atul Dodia, such great artists who have influenced generations in many thousands more. And we are there almost a thousand to begin with. Let there be thousands. God bless you. Thank you very much for this.